Okay, here goes nothing. This is it. This is the end of Danganronpa, the last trial. Unless there's a magical seventh chapter that fucks me. But, um, I'm ready to go. Makoto. Oh. Listen. However... They'll talk soon. You called for me, and so I appear. Oh, I'm on fire. At least someone's here to speak. Yes, my beautiful scissors. <laughs> oh, well, that's too bad. I guess that won't be happening. No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> well now. Kills, chills, kills. That's fine. Unbelievable. Today I'm feeling white. Okay. Stop talking. You guys. <laughs> Whatever. Hm. Oh, wow, he said the same thing. In the name of my family. <laughs> hey. However. However. Yep. So. I'm super ready. the 16th student in a way, Monokuma. But if you're in the 16th seat, he's gonna be talking the whole... Let's go. Voice acting activate. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. So listen up. If you can figure out Muguro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win. But if you can't, then I win. And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super hard pounding punishment. Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Ooh. Yep. Sure I'm gonna will. enjoy that. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind? Only one person? Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! Oh my fucking god. Starting from the top. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Oh, 
Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. The group sure photo. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I too have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. W what? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Fuck you. That's so bullshit. You guys have all been working. I have evidence. So I know. You know you they actually you make it spin. Evidence that proves everyone. What? This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Damn it. I thought holding X slowed down time, but I forgot about that feature. It's been a while. How do you slow it down? Oh. It's R. Thank you. So let's put this to bed right now. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. Everyone has a photo, but there's a different... But they're left out of theirs. With the picture you have, I'm in it. But that can't be right. Because in my picture... See? I'm the only one not in Real talk, Sakura is going to destroy us. Hero, you- Okay. What? Well, let's see yours. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. No, you, it's not true. I have a photo that has you in it. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? Rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? Hmm. Regarding what person isn't shown in the photos. The people who got the photo. I got it! In each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. Yeah. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one Look at Taki, he's such a shithead. You can't even see Junko's fucking face. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Yeah, let me look at yours. Did Sakura just kill a words, fish? Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? Listen. Can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. Alright, let's look. Sakura, he's splashing Junko. There's... There's Hina. There's... There's M Mukuro. Alright. Let's see. Going for Mugro's there. Junko's talking to, uh. Ha! <laughs> she's wearing a girl's fucking sports uniform. Of course. Alright. Keeping, keeping that up. Uh. 
Oh my god. Why is Junko's face not shown in any of these photos? Any of them. Can you just forget about the photo already? All right. Sure. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo. I'm still pissed about that. I wonder if I was meant to figure that out so early. But on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching. I think the hair. fact that they keep showing her, and just in general, and the fact that I called it at the beginning of like the last case is kind of weird. This game usually isn't good about just throwing twists like that in. Mm -hmm. So you think they're fake? But even if I can see that Junko is clearly one of the things that is interesting with the lack of her face, it doesn't explain anything. Her corpse has been destroyed. Still don't actually understand anything. And I haven't even seen what's her name, Makuro, yet. No, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. What are you talking about? There's no We've way. We've got 16 man amnesia. Yeah. I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's got to be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? Yeah. Might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. Amnesia? Just like Kyoko's amnesia? We've been seeing these photos since, like, what, chapter 3? Amnesia. What the fuck? I don't get any of this. Just because I'm able to figure out shit like this doesn't actually help me. But I can't spell. Give me A. But... Like, this still doesn't yeah, actually help. It's like, I'm getting correct answers, I'm figuring out things. That somehow, we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. Like, I'm figuring out things and getting correct answers, but this is like... I don't know, what's a good analogy for this? It's like... It's like beating... Uh, no, no, I can't really think of it. It's it's like finishing book five of a series when you're on book two. It's like, you know all of this, but you don't know how it connects. As if. You expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult-type story? Yeah! We all lost our memories? That's just crazy. Of course. Uh, what do we got? The DVD. Because that has, um, the stuff. It has their interviews. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. Maybe? Okay. No, it's wrong. If you remember everything, watch this. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? No, it's nothing like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. You? No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. 
The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What you? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. True. Okay. To be honest, I have something else on my mind. Right? I just realized I'm on auto, so that's why I keep clicking to end the statement, but auto's continuing it too. Oops, my bad. Something else? This is why I don't use auto. You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Actually, we all said we could. Even me, I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever. Or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane! How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, because it's all true! What? I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. Then... I really... Yep, you all totally lost your memory at the same time! For fuck's sake. This is all... Making my head... It made my head hurt about three cases ago. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie! You figured that part out too, huh? Well, there we go. Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. How could someone just steal our memories? How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you! The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Did we have a memory of what happened to our families and friends? Or anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mokuro Ikusaba. Okay. So you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else. But we will solve the rest. That's part of the rules. Alright. Yeah, it's like, you gotta do everything, so let's go for it. Hmm. Starting from the top. So who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. When you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course. They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Yeah, the control room. What does make me 
social. Exactly. They pretty much told us earlier that the mastermind's in the control room. Under the hatch. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. No. We didn't get to team up, so you don't know. Allow me to help. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? Nah. Yes. In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. Oh yeah, the 16 kids. 16 students. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! What? <laughs> Why me? Because it's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? Aw, nuts! You got me. Oh, fuck you. Wait, what are you trying Son to say? Son of a bitch, that fucking bear. Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The Mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? Nope. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. I believe it was called Gungnir. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? I got it! All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. But... It, but that body was clearly killed in the same way and looks exactly like Junko, but we already... Fuck this game, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, what you said. I don't fucking because, get it anymore. Because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. Huh? It's fucking bullshit. How do you know that? I fucking hate it. Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means, you know, you're wrong. <laughs> she denied me <laughs> before I could even say anything. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you think I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me. Let's go. Uh, the Makura one, I guess, because the others don't make sense. No, I didn't want that. <laughs> Give me this. Alright, we have a short session here, so just shoot this. Shoot it. No, that's wrong. I have a decent amount of health, so I can just kind of fucking guess at it. I couldn't even see those no, words. 
Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. Oh, okay. She was trying to say those wounds were from being a soldier. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir. Oh yeah, she was untouched. When she entered the school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. To be denied so completely. Actually, it's kind of refreshing. <gasps> Maybe it's because of all of Master's training. Anyway, so we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. All right. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? For fuck's sake. Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. Yeah. Spider-Man. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. So who was it that attacked you? All right, good. Mastermind. Like, the one duh. who attacked me was the true mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask. <sighs> Stop it. I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. Yeah, you can pretty much just interchange the mask between people. But I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. What are you laughing at? Yeah. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Please don't. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? Hmm. Oh, God. I love spinning. Yeah, shouldn't it have the tattoo? You never saw their face. Yeah, the right? ha the hand tattoo. So you can't have any idea. I don't have under it. That mask. Great. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. You're wrong. Even without seeing their face. There is another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't mm -hmm. her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot? Or perhaps the left foot? Or could it be... the hips? Oh god, um... Thinking on perspective, it would be... Technically, the left side of her body, when we investigated, had it, so that's her right hand. Okay, so I think I picked the right one. You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea I... who was under that mask. Yeah, that should be right. I'm telling you now, it was Mokuro Ikusaba! Accidentally helped. You're wrong. Fucking Maybe there's another part of the attack. killing me, game. Is it the right or the left hand? No, that's wrong. Wait, what? 
Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. Well, guess I was wrong the whole time. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such tattoo. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I uh, was overthinking it. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. So I was thinking I'd have to absorb the right hand and then say it was Mukuro and then say, here are the differences, but this game is the same thing. Yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. But that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah! We were in the gym tearing you apart, so it couldn't have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you. But what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Uh-oh, no snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Her scarred hands. Your hand! Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Yep. My scars should suffice as proof. <sighs> Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? No, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. Get wrecked. <laughs> this is just awful. On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? Uh, not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure. As long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? But it's not corner just yet. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? The culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your brain. <laughs> then she was being stored somewhere? Yeah, the bio lab. But the freezers. To hide a body here. To just store it somewhere? I got it! Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. Bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. Mm. Oh yeah, the tarp. 
guitar was moved. Boom. Okay, things are starting to come together. What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says bio lab. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Mm. Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. This proves that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the code on it afterwards. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly consistent. But that's just a wild guess. Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Mm. Worked up? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the bio lab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. La la la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. I've had just about enough of your shit. Burr. I've had just about enough of it. I'm zoomed in on this bear. I'm getting annoyed. I'm done with his nonsense. So Fucking, I'll bullet time well, battle your face. Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. So what do you think? Are you sure your family? Shut up. Why are you your mom? Your dad? Nah. Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about He's that. trying to get to me. Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Oh, here we go. Are you sure about this? That's impossible. Are you sure about this? That's impossible. Forgot that I'm supposed to hit everything in the beat, not just mash. Are you sure about this? That's impossible. Are you sure about nice. this? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Final strike. I'm not listening! Wait, uh... The lights? Oh, good. Okay, I panic when I realized, wait, do I have multiple options? And I'm like, the lights. The inconsistency Kyoko's talking about is the lights because the body came on the latest light but was dead for several days <laughs> what are you talking about uh, what about the light like i said before the bio lab also acts as a morgue and as part of that a giant refrigerator was installed in there that's where everyone who's died is stored and it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. 
In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in, and there were only nine. Yeah, on top of that, like I mentioned before, if you use nine plus seven is sixteen, but there's only six of us here. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Should be on ten. I got it. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Why? That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. Body just up and disappeared. I got it. The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? It may very well be that none of them disappeared. And someone was killed two times. <laughs> Why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's execution, there have apparently been ten deaths, but there were only nine bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The same person was killed twice. I got it! What about if... The same person was killed twice. Huh? Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered. And then murdered again. Murdered and... Murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings, but still only nine victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess. Still, something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. Mm -hmm. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. I've been waiting like 10 episodes for them to get to this point. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Nothing's gonna become obvious, because Kyoko's totally delusional! So do we have to name who was murdered twice? Can I finally do it? Who is this someone else we do. that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? This son of a bitch! Hiro Fujisaki? Mando Owada? Kiyotaka Ishimaru? Kifumi Yamada? Celestia Lu... whatever? <laughs> okay, so you may notice something. Sakura, He's putting white noise in front of it. You have no, to slow no, it no. down or else we can't even There's touch no Jojo. Or murdered twice. 
He goes in order, so let's take this from the top. Whoa! Fuck this guy! He's so fast! Oh, we can't take it. For a second, I thought I'd have to. Oh, I gotta slow down the last one. Though. Or maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. So, real talk, I just realized I could just shoot the fucking white noise. May have forgotten that gameplay thing until the last second. I could just hit X and get rid of the white noise. Here we go. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Well, remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered, Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. It's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... What does it all mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. But I, I actually I don't understand that part. And that's the true identity of the mastermind. Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive. Yeah, yeah, that's actually it. She took Yuko's body. And made it look like she was the one who died. So Mukuro is still alive. She's gotta be. Finally, they're saying stuff that actually is in tune with the case. Total silence. Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Please tell me she's right. A what? Why are you spinning? Please stop spinning! Her profile? I guess her profile. The body we found in the garden... It wasn't Mukuro! Then she's still alive? That's right! She made it look like Junko's body was her! So the mastermind's true identity is... That didn't work. Shit. I, I feel like it has to be this one. I'll double down and I'll take the heart if I'm wrong. Really? Is it because they have the same, like, attributes or something? I don't know. No. The body we found in the garden was Mukuro. What are you talking about? She's a dark-haired girl. The explodey face had blonde hair, the exact same fucking shoes. The red finger, it's the <laughs> I don't get it. Body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. All right. Right, Kyoko? Coincidences apparently don't happen. 
She was five foot six inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. So was she disguised as June? Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually So Mukuro alive? was forcibly disguised as Junko and then the real Junko's the big bad? Is that it? So who's the big bad guy? Fucking Where is she? Should have just gone right. I really should. It was like right here. All right. Here's my answer. Junko is still alive. It's the only possibility. It's a stupid possibility. Are you sure about that? Huh? I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. <laughs> yeah, there's another thing though. She's also dead. But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. If Junko were still alive, the death we saw would have had to have been some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? A disguise. dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. So, the idea that she's still alive... It must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot, but too bad. I guess your conclusion was a dud. <laughs> too bad, too bad. This case hasn't been decided just yet. Uh oh? You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Yeah. Got us there. But both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? Give me not fucking understanding. Alright. What do we got? R. R. Re. Re. Replace. Hmm. Will you give me that A anytime soon? Place duh. Now I understand. <laughs> Good, tell me. That's it. What if she switched places with someone else? Switch places? That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Are you fucking kidding me? Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba! What the fuck are you talking about anymore? Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? 
I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? Yeah, when could that happen, bro? Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? <gasps> Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. So maybe the whole idea is wrong. Huh. Not the moment of death, not after death. Fuck! Didn't mean to hit that. I... I didn't press the D-pad in hard enough, I guess. Beginning! Yay, yeah, I got a heart back. The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What? From the beginning? So, uh, that bear's blushing right now. Just thought I'd let you know. Yes, from the moment we first met. If that's when they switched... Then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Uh, hold on. So, you're saying the Junko we first met... ...was actually Mukuro all along? Then, we'd already met her? I had, like, a normal conversation with her. <laughs> when we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait! But Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. But if she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny it anymore. Wait, so this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. I'm gonna say this right now. This is the most ridiculous case I've ever seen in one of these types of games. This is fucking buttermilk bolly bullshit. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back. I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. <laughs> As if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect her identity? When did I do that? Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> 
Uh, no. Let's start reading from the bottom. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So this is supposed to be how he could have hidden the information that she, Mukuro, and Junko was different. How did we learn that information? That? Okay, it wasn't that. What information did we learn in this case that helps compound that? Not the file. Not the profile. The, the secret... Not the group photo, at least I don't think. Not the interview DVD. Wait, think about it. Interview DVD, but no, that doesn't make sense. Makoto wasn't able to watch it all the way through. Is it that? Maybe it was that and we didn't, maybe, did we see her in it? I don't remember we saw her in it. Did we see Makuro in it? Uh... Fuck it, I have three more shots. I got it. Okay, it's that. While I was in the AV room, watching the DVD of our interviews with the Headmaster... Okay, that's why. I couldn't finish watching the video and the reason you did that is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko did you oh yeah if everyone was in that video of course Junko would have had to show up and if Makoto saw the real Junko it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter but that whole power outage thing was just a fluke no it wasn't you orchestrated it. You orchestrated everything. Oh, bullet time. I think I know what I'm supposed to pick when we get to this. It's gotta be the group photo, right? That's the only thing that would show her, and it doesn't show her! One group that photo. This should prove it. Every photo blocks her face. <sighs> the video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> I noticed it just a little while ago when we were all comparing the photos we got. In all the photos, there's a certain similarity, an unusual circumstance. Yes. Well, what's so unusual about them? Mm hmm. Every single one. Junko's face, 
the one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. But you can see Makuro's face. just happened to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. With all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Then here we go. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Xanadu! <laughs> what? I believe everything Makoto said is true. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko is still alive and she's the one behind this whole murderous situation this killing game she's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair Xanadu times two. with this <laughs> the identity Stop. and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed then is it comic book time or are we gonna go through more questioning no wait hold on oh god don't bother trying to deny it there's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything. Oh, here we go. Right now. We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusawa. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind, Junko and Oshima. Her body was kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue, until Junko decided to put her body to use. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who proved to be one big thorn in her side. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. So she put on a mask and then attacked me. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one and the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Strapping a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder. And the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. real 
Junko and Oshima. Yeah! That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? Oh, I can't wait for you to kill yourself. What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? <laughs> Did you really think this story would end once we reach the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go!